Hey y'all, we about to talk about Basketball Vibes LA Season 6 Episode 1. We really fit to start off like this. Really, Shani? This is how we starting off? Like, okay. You want me to go in on the first episode? No problem. You about to make me defend somebody I didn't even like on the Miami, New York franchise. Like, what the fuck? But Evelyn is back on season one. Um, season six, episode one. And look like I'm going to be, well, well, when it comes to her and Tammy, I'm going to be team Evelyn. I'm just saying. Um, I, I know I'm going I'm to throw shade at her by the, when I seen the, um, what's going to be coming in the season. And she going to be siding with uh, them bitches. Shani and Tammy, I said, bitch, now I'm, I'm going to end up not liking you. But so far in this episode, bitch, I was on your side. I was on your side. Because y'all know me. I'm all about being on your grown woman tip. Um, but she is uh, at the reel. She's at the set of the reel. She's going to be on the reel. Um, and she says she's down there because her daughter lives in L.A. now. So, you know, she's just trying to get a feel, start back working, shit like that. Because, um, and all that. So, Shani comes in, you know, to show some support about her being on the show and all that kind of stuff. And then they start talking about, um, her trying to have a baby. Because they talked about her three-year-old son with her husband and, you know, her daughter. So, she let us know that she had three miscarriages in a year and a half. I said, oh, my God. That has to really take a toll on you as a woman, your whole mental to just keep getting pregnant and then not being able to hold it and keep trying. But she wants to have a baby, so I'm like, bitch, maybe you up in age where you, you, you're you done. You got your boy, you got your girl, and be cool with that. Don't keep taking on stuff and then you end up fucking yourself up. Like, I'm not with that women of a certain age keep trying to have a baby when you know you keep having miscarriages you're going to mess up your body your whole insides going to be shattered and then you're going to be mad um but they start talking about tammy and her and tammy has this beef that's stupid as fuck like it's stupid because it's some old shit. I said is tammy drinking the phaedra juice like why are we bringing up old shit like this is so dumb to me but they're arguing she was talking about ain't tell me around 50 i said yeah the bitch still acting like she five yeah i don't understand that situation either but she has this whole beef with her because okay her beef with tammy is tammy's talking shit about her because apparently she said that she slept with kenny when um I apparently he was still married to Tammy. So y'all know this was like 20 years ago. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, really? Really? We arguing over this for some 20-year-old bullshit when all y'all bitches was probably sleeping around? I don't know. But I understand Evelyn's point of view. Because Evelyn said, okay, I slept with him. I did not know he was married. And then I'm like, was y'all married at, at at the time, but separated? You know what I'm saying? Or was you, you know, she a side chick? But like she said, she didn't know that he was married. So he lied to her, even if they were together or wasn't together. He lied to her. She didn't know about it. You know what I'm saying? So that's her whole stance on that. So I can get that. You know what I'm saying? He didn't tell you. You didn't know. Yada, yada, yada. We can work that out. But for her to keep calling Evelyn a hoe because of it, I was just like, Tammy, you reaching. You trying to keep a storyline. You are fucking reaching to fight with this girl over this bullshit. Then you arguing with her over a four-year-old interview that she did on the radio saying that she don't fuck with you. Bitch, you are negative. I wouldn't fuck with you either. And then she said, when I tried to call her, see, I might be all over the place because this is the whole beef in this nutshell. 
But she, she said when she tried to call Evelyn and talk about the interview, Evelyn changed her number and blocked her on social media. So apparently, bitch, it was loud and clear. She don't fuck with you. So, okay, I would have been like, okay, she don't fuck with me. She blocked me. Move the fuck on. But, oh, my God, we harboring over a four-year-old fucking interview. Like, this is stupid. This is stupid. But, like I said, I, I understand Evelyn thing. She like, bitch, I didn't know that he was married, so you're not going to put it around that I slept with no married man when I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? So, I get that part. But I just feel like Tammy is fucking too old for this. And Evelyn feels like that too. Like, how old are we? Are we still doing this? And Tammy is not the type of person that likes to talk like an adult. She always just, and I agree, she's negative as hell. Her whole energy is negative. And I must keep on talking about that as I keep looking down at my notes. But yeah, she is negative. I totally agree with that. Jackie and her daughter Chantel. Jackie is looking for a house in L another house in L.A. This bitch is always looking for a house. I said, bitch, why you just didn't keep the one you had when you were looking for one last time or you had a little temporary one or whatever when you was worried about if he was going to get the job last season? Why are we every year you looking for a place to stay? Like, why don't you have a nice home in L.A. to go to? I don't understand this shit. But, um, Chantel is pregnant and... She's talking about, I need a place for all of us. And I'm like, where the fuck is Chantel's baby daddy? And she explains that he's overseas in the Ukraine playing basketball. And she's worried about that. Because you've seen the Ukraine people. And I'm sitting there like, okay, so that just shows Jackie don't trust him. Oh, yeah, Jackie don't trust nobody. If She she probably felt like Chantel should have went with him. But did y'all notice she kept on looking at her mama like, no, bitch, you no, you ain't going to be nowhere around this baby. You ain't teaching this baby shit. No. Because apparently you wasn't that good to either Chantel. Because then Chantel is not like, okay, yeah, be around my baby. You're going to be a great grandmama. No, that ain't how Chantel was putting that. Um, then they bring up her daughter's GoFundMe account and, um, her daughter Takari's GoFundMe. I said, why do you want to talk about this, Jackie? Why do you want to talk about this? You are opening yourself up for a can of worms that you do not want. Um, I said, damn, I need to go follow this daughter because I know she probably on, in, on all social media giving it to Jackie on this episode. But Jackie is mad about this GoFundMe and how she do this and she could have called us and all this kind of stuff. And then she has a problem with Evelyn as well. And her problem is with Evelyn donating to clear the balance of the GoFundMe. Because people on Twitter was DMing her telling her that Evelyn was shading her. And she's not grown enough or smart enough. To go by what probably, little kids probably was DMing her saying. I'm like, what the fuck? Are you serious? Are you really going by what people was tweeting you saying? Really? I just kept saying, I can't. The whole time she kept talking about this girl, I kept saying, damn, I need to go find her social media. Because I know she giving it to her. Um, Shani and Tammy, they talked about what I said, uh, Evelyn coming back and her, what her beef is with Evelyn. Also, Tammy still want to get pregnant with Reggie. Reggie on some hold mode and Tammy feel like she ain't got time to be holding because her ass is getting older. I'm like, whatever. I feel like Shani was being messy. Like, you could have said, hey, I'm having this party. Evelyn is in town. Like, she is having a 70s mixer. And she invited both women. And that's all she should have said. Like, hey, she's in town. I'm giving you a heads up. For her, but her to tell Tammy that what Evelyn said, I was like, bitch, really? Like, who friend are you? You look like you more Tammy friend. Because, bitch, really, you should have just said, I'm inviting both of y'all. If y'all got some issues, y'all need to square that away. But for her to tell, kind of give Shani, I mean, Tammy, a heads up of what Evelyn said, I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck? But y'all know that bitch is, like, two-faced it anyway. <coughs> um, what else I was going to say? Mm. 
Okay, they talked about Kenny. Okay, then we meet this girl, Kiana Green. I was going off the whole time she was on my screen. I didn't know this girl before. I knew kind of of the story that she is Nick Young's baby mama. She got two kids with Nick Young. She's the girl that broke up kind of Iggy and Nick Young and all that drama. I remember this story going around and shit like that and how I think they said she slept with him at Iggy's house or some shit. And I believe that after this motherfucking time that she talked, I believe that she probably did that. Because she wants to have a talk with Shani and get, you know, where Shani had from because, you know, Shani been in the um, league a long time. Um, so Shani gave her some advice on what she should do, what she shouldn't do, and how to make a name for herself, yada, yada, yada. I didn't give a fuck. Because the more she kept talking, I was like, bitch, you sound stupid. So, she was talking about how she's ready to date again after five weeks. After she had had her baby, it's only five weeks, and this bitch is ready to start dating and giving her pussy to somebody else. Bitch, no. And first of all, you weren't even in a relationship with the dude that you gave your pussy away to get the baby. And you want to hurry up and go, no. And they, I'm not saying, okay, she got to hurry up and fuck somebody. But, like, girl, can you focus on your five-week-old baby? I was so irritated with, I just, young bitches, young bitches. Like, with no guidance. This is a big young bitch with no guidance. First of all, you ain't got no guidance because you went to Shani for some answers. Like, you didn't have nobody in your family. But I'm just like, really? After five weeks and you're on national TV saying because you dealt with so much bullshit for years with Nick Young, you're ready to go deal with some more bullshit with a man. You need to worry about being single and focusing on you, boo-boo. That's what you need to do. I was so irritated with her. They start talking about the whole thing with Iggy and how that played out. And she was saying how she found out that he was with Iggy through TMZ and all that kind of stuff. Or whatever. Okay. But, okay, that means y'all broke up because he started being with her. He started being engaged to her. And you still opened your legs knowing he was with her. Then you saying... You act like you didn't, that he was lying to you and he's telling you these sweet nothings or whatever. But you saying you called and text her shit. And I'm like, so bitch, apparently you knew, regardless of what he was telling you, that he was still with Iggy. That you called and text her and said, come get your remote, come do this, come get your man, come get this. So you was still being the side bitch. This bitch talking about I wasn't no side chick. Yeah, you were. When you know that he was engaged and you still said you fell for him, bitch, where, what part of the side chick wasn't that? He was living with Iggy and you were sleeping with him when you got pregnant. So you wasn't a side chick? I, you know, maybe the main chick bitches need to, uh, or the ones that think they the only chick. I don't know, because, bitch, I don't want to be a main chick. I want to be your only bitch. I don't want to be your main chick. But these bitches that being main, maybe I need to change our names because side chicks don't think what they doing is fucking wrong. I don't understand that bitch. I just lost all respect for her at that point. So then we get to this goddamn party. And Jackie comes as a pimp. She had a hoe. I didn't know who the hoe was. Didn't pay attention. Kiana walks in. Um, Tammy comes in with this afro. All of them are dressed like, for the party. You know, they all dress for the thing. Um, I didn't talk really about the whole Tammy and, and no. Oh, yeah, let me go and talk about that. Tammy and Jackie end up meeting up to talk or whatever about Evelyn, basically. They talked about the party a little bit, but they all basically talked about the party and why Evelyn has a problem with her and she can't wait to fucking all in the confessional. She couldn't wait to fucking see her. She need to explain herself. But when Tammy said that Evelyn was back in town, that bitch kind of changed her whole mood. But she still kind of play, play hard for Tammy. I'm just like, girl, girl, you don't, that ain't the one you want it with. We seen you get your ass snatched up on a season. You don't want it with, I'm just saying, she don't want it. Not with, not with Evelyn. Um, even when I seen the rest of the season, I said, bitch, you don't even want it with Tammy, and I don't even like her. 
Um, so anyway, so like I said, they all come dressed for the theme. When Evelyn get there, Evelyn going around trying to hug and kiss everybody. When it gets to Tammy, that bitch is like, no, I don't think so. And I try, I, you know, I kind of agree with Tammy. Like, bitch, no, we don't get along. You saying you don't like me. I, you know, we both got issues. Bitch, just say hi. All the hugging and kissing, yeah, that's a little fake if you know we got issues with each other. Bitch, just say, wave, like, give me a nod just to be cordial. But, no, I ain't with the hugging me like it's kumbaya. And when she said, oh, I'm just trying to be classy, I said, bitch, now you're throwing a little shot at Tammy. So, if she throw a little shot back, you kind of brought that on yourself. I'm just going to call that shit what it is. Um... But, yeah, then they, you know, Evelyn, Tammy says she needs to talk to Evelyn. Evelyn's like, I'm willing to talk. So, next thing you know, Jackie wants to talk to, she want to talk to Evelyn and bring up the whole GoFundMe account. And Evelyn, like, what the fuck? Because that bitch said, my daughter didn't need no help. If she did not need the help, she wouldn't have put the goddamn GoFundMe up. What are you talking about, Jackie? Talking about she could have called her mama or daddy. Well, apparently she couldn't. Apparently she couldn't that you're going to say this type of shit. And then you're going to tell her, well, you can donate to anybody. You don't have to donate to my daughter. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? This was to help your grandson. You are missing all of the fucking points, you dumb fucking bitch. Like, this didn't have, this was not about you. This was not about your daughter. This was about getting your grandson some help and making sure your daughter can be able to maintain and help her son. You know what I'm saying? So, I, it, it just wasn't everybody. Then I'm like, you mad at her like nobody else was donating. Other people donated. Bitch, you mad because you looked at like the fucked up mama that you are. Because if you had a problem with the GoFundMe, you could have did it anonymous. So what the fuck is... I just didn't understand her going off on Evelyn for helping her daughter or helping the grandson. Like, and then going to tell her she didn't have to. Like, you could have... You go help somebody else. And I'm like, are you serious? Really, Jackie? Uh, if I didn't like you then or before, I sure the fuck don't like you now. That was some bullshit. Tell me, I've been her mom for 27 years. I've been taking care of her, and I still take care of her. I said, no, you don't. Bitch, we remember that season when Laura Govan brought your daughter and all the shit she have said. Why is your daughter writing a fucking um, tell-all book if that's the case? If that's the case, you was a good mom, bitch. Chantel would be over there saying you can be there for the baby and teach the baby. But that bitch said, no, nope, not going to happen. Mm-mm. I was so disappointed. Whatever. So she ended up leaving because she had to catch a flight. That bitch just wanted to come for a camera time and confront Evelyn. And she ended up leaving. So now it's Evelyn and Tammy's turn to talk. And like I said, it was a petty ass argument. It was stupid. It was over a four year old interview that uh, Jackie, I mean, Evelyn says she don't remember saying what Tammy said she said about her not fucking with her like that or not respecting her or whatever the fuck she said. But she like, I don't remember saying that. And she was like, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring you the thing. I'm going to bring it up. And I'm like, girl, it's four years old. Why are we, who cares? So then she like, bitch, well, since you want to bring up old shit, bitch, I didn't sleep with him. Um, and then they start going back and forth about when did she file for divorce, all that bullshit. But like Evelyn said, bitch, I didn't know. Like, so you trying to make it seem like I'm a hoe and I didn't know. And then she was like, um, they start, when Evelyn start pointing her finger, y'all know Tammy has a real problem with this pointing finger shit. I said, yeah, you bitch, you and you and got your match, because that bitch ain't scared of you, and you know she ain't scared of you. That's why you ain't leaping real fast, because bitch, you know she not scared of you. Um, but then, they start talking about, um, she was talking about, uh, 
I know the bitch that you are. And she was like, what the fuck? Like, why are you calling me a bitch? Oh, well, I know the person, the human that you are. I said, bitch, you are petty as fuck. Tammy needs to grow up. Like, really, Tammy? Really? And then you calling her a hoe like she ain't been with old boy for a couple of years. Bitch, her son is three years old. So, a bitch, apparently she ain't been a hoe for three years or four because she had to be pregnant for a minute. So, bitch, really... You really, I hate when people act like a person can't change. And as much as I don't like, I did not like Evelyn, you know what I'm saying? I do feel like a person can change from the bitch she was. She probably saw herself on TV and have grown and didn't like what she's, no. I mean, I, I'm i sorry. I just always feel like a person can change. And I'm never going to say a person can't change. But when you when you 50 in every fucking season, you still want to fucking pop off and want to fight or act like you want to fight. I just... I was so disappointed in Tammy. Like, bitch, you still the same fucking bird I was talking about last season. Like, you, like, you too old for this shit. And I was so happy that Evelyn got up and walked the fuck away. Because I was sitting there like, is this the fucking bash Evelyn party? I would have fucked Shani up. Like, what the fuck? Like, get your goddamn pit bulls. Like, you invited me to this party. Like, this ain't no party, bitch. We could have sat down at a table and talked. Like, this ain't no mixer, no party. Like, bitch, we ain't even mixing with nobody because we all at the same, on the same cast. So I'm like five of us. Shut up. So, then after that, Tammy and Shani meet up. And for Tammy to bash Evelyn and Shani to laugh at the shit. I was like, are you fucking kidding me, you fucking bird-ass bitch, Shani? Like, because I feel like, okay, she talking about she's in the middle and she feel uncomfortable. But, bitch, you are laughing when she's talking about this girl that slept her way through three ball associations in six years and all this kind of stuff and how she was a mistress for her current dude. Bitch, Shani, you shouldn't, I shouldn't be laughing, but no, bitch, you shouldn't be laughing. No, you shouldn't be like, you know what? You know, if you really Evelyn homegirl, you should have told Tammy, you know what, I'm both of y'all friend. Let's change the subject. Like, you going a little too hard. Like, this is not called for. That's what the fuck you do. That's what a real motherfucking friend do. I don't understand these bitches that allow other bitches to sit there and talk about their friend and they sit there and laugh at that shit. No, no, no. Even if I get along with both of y'all, bitch, we're changing the subject. Like, no, unless I feel that way about you, bitch, we're changing the subject. Like, no. I didn't get that. I didn't. I want to fuck Shiny up, and I hope Evelyn give it to that bitch, too, after this shit airs. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about Basketball Wives Season 6, Episode 1. Yes, I will be doing the whole season, whether I like it or not. <laughs> it's, I'm here for it. You know what I'm saying? I always, I've been here for it. I've been reviewing it. But I'm not going to stop just because I don't like Tammy. I do feel like them bitches need to go back over there and have the L.A. original bitches back in L.A. or some bitches from L.A. on here. Because I don't understand trying to revamp these bitches' career from 10, 10 years ago. I just don't understand this shit. But, you know, Shani always need to use her friends for ratings. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, it's all about support, so I hope y'all supporting somebody. Um... And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. You can follow me on all social media by the Ghetto View, T-H-A, not T-H-E. And I'll talk to y'all in the next video. Peace.